Well, I think that Dan pretty much covered from, from the coastal standpoint, but again, you know, if I could, from the bank standpoint, talk a little bit about that. One of the things that seems to be the theme is financing, and nothing's really going to go forward unless you have banks and uh, organizations like Coastal and Dread and so forth to help with the financing in doing this. Um, and, and I can say that the banks are committed to the beach. Um, if you look at the local banks over the years, uh, we have committed to the beach and we have done a lot of financing here, but it all comes down to the economics. Uh, one of the biggest problems uh, we would run into as a bank is when you're looking to finance a new project and you have a nine or a ten week season, there just isn't enough economics to, to do it. I mean, the, the cash flow is not there to support the debt. And one of the good things that I heard today was the fact that there's a lot of people talking about extending the season, looking at a nine or ten month season, which makes um, investment into the beach a lot more viable. Uh, not only are the banks going to look and say, okay, is there enough cash flow to support the debt, you know, what kind of commitment. Individuals aren't going to invest in the beach unless they get a decent return on their investment. They're not going to invest two or three or four million dollars and look at the end of the season and say, gee, I made $100,000 uh, after I paid the bank or something. There's just not enough return on their investment for them to do it either. So it's a combination of both. And really what we're seeing here today, I think more than anything else, is the commitment from the business community and from the state and everything to really look at the beach in unique ways, unique ways of financing, uh, unique ways of trying to extend the seasons so that there is a good economic viability to the beach because if you try and keep it at 10 weeks, it's pretty much going to stay the way it is today. You have to be creative in looking at the beach, looking as we're going forward. The banks certainly are committed to it. We <coughs> make money when we lend, and we don't lend at eight. We'd love to, but right now we, we can't. <laughs> but uh, no, rates, rates are, are good, and uh, we, as all banks, um, not just the Provident, but all the banks in the local area are very committed to lending in the beach, but it has to be a viable and, you know, we're not lending our money, we're lending our depositors' money, so we have to be very uh, conservative in how we look at this. And the first is, is it economically feasible? And I think what's happening today with everybody getting together really says a lot that, that the realization that, okay, if we really want to grow the beach, we really want to do the things, we've got to be creative in our financing, we've got to be creative, you know, do we look at m mixed use? Uh, properties where there may be hotels or some condos or some retail and you know do we sell, sell off a little bit of it do we own some of it ourselves how do we structure this thing so that we can make this a viable uh, ongoing entity down here and the bank certainly will be committed to doing that um, along with the partnership that we may have with Coastal or Rockingham or any one of the other uh, public financing agencies in the state but um, it's really very encouraging to see everything that's going on here today and it really, the realization that um, the beach has to grow and it needs to extend its season and I think that that's a general consensus down here and it seems like everybody's working on the same page um, and I think that's very good. Thank you. And uh, thank you for the invitation for uh, CDFA to be here today. CDFA is the Community Development Finance <coughs> Authority where uh, we are a state and, and as our name indicates, we're, uh, uh, we're involved in the financing <coughs> end of things. We do manage several different pools of money. But, um, but I just, before I mention a couple of words about that, I thought I'd just respond to a, a, a couple of other things that, that have been said here. Uh, as everyone has said, John, you've done a tremendous job bringing a lot of folks around the table. And uh, that's a clear indication that, that there's interest here and, 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 and enough underlying activity to make something happen between the folks around the table and the folks sitting out in the audience who, who are here listening and who have made comments. Uh, as Roy said, there are lots of resources out there and the resources are available, but whatever, whatever Hampton Beach decides to do has to come from within. It's got to be driven by by the folks here. It's not going to come from the, from the top down. It's not going to come from the feds. It's not going to come from the state in most cases. Uh, the projects and the activities need to be developed locally and, and, and then driven from, from within. 
and then the resources can be brought to bear to help uh, with those projects. Uh, the two Freds mentioned TIF districts. Uh, Roy also mentioned it. Uh, it's a phenomenal way creatively to help finance the development and the infrastructure of an area that you want to redevelop and other areas of the state have used the tool uh, very successfully. It can be a hard sell because it's a hard concept to understand and it does require buy-in uh, by council if it's a city and by voters if it's, uh, if it's a town. So uh, it's not the easiest thing to do but it, 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 is a, it is a phenomenal mechanism for, uh, for, for directing tax dollars into uh, development in an area. I got the impression that from the comments that were made, the look and feel of the beach area is important to most folks. And I don't know if you have ever tried a facade grant program to offer small grants or small loans perhaps to businesses uh, as a way of encouraging them to improve the look and feel uh, of, of an area. It, it's something to think about. Um, Cliff could certainly speak to the issue of form-based code zoning, which allows you to uh, allow multiple land uses, multiple uses of properties within an area, but define, defining how it looks. So you get the look that you want, and you can allow all different kinds of uses within, uh, within the area. So form-based code zoning is, is, a, is, a, is another interesting thing to look at. So as far as uh, CDFA is concerned, we do, we do manage uh, several different pools of money, most of which don't go to the businesses directly, but go to them through our partners, the regional development corporations, two of whom are represented here today, Dan and Laurel. And those monies often go out to the businesses as loans. Uh, it is federal money for the most part, so it has a lot of strings attached and it doesn't fit every situation, but it does help to fill a gap in a financing plan and uh, uh, the, 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 the regional development corporations are very willing to work with businesses and can often be creative in structuring uh, financing deals that include some of the money that can come from the Community Development Finance Authority. The one other thing that I'll mention is that uh, CDFA was successful in securing some <coughs> stimulus money through uh, the Office of Energy and Planning for creating a loan fund. And this is the one, one, of, one of the uh, departures from the model where, where we, we, our money is funneled out through other organizations like the RDCs. In the case of the Ener Enterprise Energy Fund, it's a loan fund set up directly at CDFA which can be loaned to businesses and nonprofits to help them make energy efficiency improvements to uh, their buildings and their and, and their uh, and their structures, and it's fairly low interest money. And the way that CDFA is going to structure these loans, and it's a new program, so not a lot of it has been taken advantage of yet. But uh, the way we will structure the repayment of the loans is out of the energy savings. So if you do an audit at the beginning, and then you anticipate what the savings are going to be after the energy improvements are done, that delta then becomes your, uh, your loan payment. And so if you make the improvement, you're going to be paying for the loan out of the energy savings. So it's really no extra out of pocket. And then once the loan is paid off, then you get the full benefit of the, of the uh, energy improvement. So it's, uh, uh, it's, it's all, all the information is available on our website, uh, uh, nhcdfa.org. And uh, uh, we're certainly, certainly Happy to be here and happy to answer any questions that, uh, that you might have about our program. So, John, thank you.